What's up, everybody? It's Josh coming at you from Nerd Ventures Tower. Are Marvel fans turning in to Star Wars fans? That's the question. That's what we want to talk about in this video. I was inspired to make this video after I saw this Reddit post here. This is on Marvel Studios subreddit. Pretty big. It has a ton of awards. It came out a couple of days ago. Almost 9,000 upvotes. It's kind of uh, blowing up. And I think this conversation in general has been happening on Twitter a lot. And I wanted to weigh in on it, being someone that is uh, a huge Marvel fan and also runs in those Star Wars fan circles as well. I find this uh, conversation fascinating. So it says here, MCU fans are becoming like Star Wars fans, and that's a bad thing. And the post reads, the bigger the franchise, the more people apply an insane standard of quality that said franchise never really earned outside of just being popular. I love these movies and almost consistently enjoy watching them, but nowadays it seems that people just nitpick and complain about every single minor little thing. He's probably talking exactly, directly, completely 100% about me. These are movies with the main purpose to entertain. And while I think legitimate criticism is both valid and crucial to helping the industry improve, I also think people should take a look at the films that came before and apply the same standard they have now and see if they idolize they has really held up. Okay, we lost it a little bit at the end there, but you get what he's saying. Now, the top reply here is from this dude that says, to be fair, the lead up to Infinity War, then Infinity War and Endgame applied an insane standard of quality to themselves and set such a high bar for the next big bad buildup that even coming close to that is a Herculean task. And I think that's absolutely fair. Like the thing with Marvel is that the bar is incredibly high. And I think that the truth is there's a lot of differences between uh, Marvel fandom and Star Wars fandom. But ironically, the originator of this post kind of coming in with this attitude that people that are not liking Marvel right now are invalid. You know what I mean? That like people that are complaining and nitpicking about every little thing are like you know, that somehow that is becoming like Star Wars. And I would argue that putting up this kind of a, a statement or feeling and, and, and sort of acting on social media, like people can't criticize the thing and because that's like illegitimate or something because they're just not enjoying the content. They're not just being entertained and that it's all silly. I would argue that this attitude is more like Star Wars fans. And it's like we just went through this as Star Wars fans during Kenobi, which in my opinion was not that good of a show. I didn't enjoy the show. I thought there was a lot of stuff wrong with it. And a lot of Star Wars fans tried to make it seem like the only people that had a problem with that show were haters or they had some kind of agenda or something like that. And just for me, I just didn't like the show all that much. I'm a huge Star Wars fan and I do enjoy Star Wars content, but that show in particular and the content recently Recently, you know, with Boba Fett and, of course, coming on the back of the sequel trilogy, like it's not up to the standard that I would want for Star Wars. Now, Star Wars has a few problems that are very unique to its own brand. Like, if you think about it, you've got this old trilogy of science fiction movies. They're really freaking good for the time and become somewhat timeless. And that's really what Star Wars was for many different people out there. Then you come to the prequel era, and although a lot of people like myself love the prequels, you cannot deny that those were very divisive movies. People did not like those movies, dude. And so there were a whole bunch of people that did, but there were a whole bunch of Star Wars fans that liked Star Wars when it was just the OT trilogy that didn't like the prequels. You fast forward to the sequel trilogy, and not only do you have the same kind of thing going on, but you also have George Lucas, the original creator and the caretaker for the franchise for the other six movies, not being involved. And you have Disney, you know, a big corporation, buying up Star Wars as an IP and doing their version of Star Wars, right? So that's very different than what is going on at Marvel Studios because although Marvel was acquired by Disney, I think around the time of the first Avengers movie, all of the real juice and some of the dopest stuff that has happened in the MCU happened under Disney's watch. We had the lead up to Infinity War, Infinity War and Endgame all under Disney's watch and those were magical years of fandom. The MCU became bigger than anything else 
on the freaking planet to the point where a movie like Captain Marvel makes a billion dollars just because it's kind of wedged in between these two absolutely epic Goliath crossover event level films. And so that's different because it's way more recent that we have these other, you know, higher quality projects. It's also the same people. Like it's still Kevin Feige. It's still Disney. Nothing has really changed other than some actors, you know, kind of retiring from their role or at least stepping away from their roles for now. So I think the current MCU fans, even if they're not super hot on phase four, they're probably not as hot on phase four because they really freaking liked phase three, which, you know, again, just happened, you know, three to five years away from where we're at now. I think that's totally different. But I do fear that if posts like this continue to pop up and that if fans continue to try to tell fans that have issues with the things that are going on right now, that they're becoming toxic or they're invalid, that we will become like the Star Wars fan base, which will not be good, man. I'm telling you right now, it's not good over there in the Star Wars fan base. A lot of love for my Star Wars fans. I'm a crazy Star Wars fan myself. I'm super like irrational and emotional when it comes to Star Wars. And there is truth in like what all of these people are saying. Like this dude's kind of saying like, hey, man, if you take this lens that was created from Endgame and Infinity War and you look back at the other movies, you wouldn't like them as much. And I agree. There's recency bias here. The MCU has had lower points. We're kind of going through another phase two period right now with phase four. But you can say that you can still appreciate all these things that are Marvel and also point out that right now we're not hitting the way that we were hitting before. And I think that fans that are like, OK, with what's going on right now, they're going to be OK, too, when it all starts to come back together, when the connective tissue is set up, when there's a big push towards Secret Wars and some of these other epic things happen. I do think we'll be back at that sort of end game place which is way different than star wars if you look at what's going on with star wars right now yes mando 3 amazing ahsoka likely to be incredible and i think andor is going to be great but we don't even know generally speaking like what's going on with the movies and what's going on with the franchise after episode 9 so i think they're just kind of playing different games and i think the marvel is you know on a little bit of a downtrend right now it's not even close to where star wars is currently at right now and I'm begging Marvel fans, please, please, for the love of all things that are holy, don't call other Marvel fans toxic just because they maybe don't like some of the Phase 4 stuff as much. It's okay to be critical about these things that we love. At the end of the day, we all love it. But I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Let me know what you think in the comment section below.